had to uh, put a t-shirt up. It's blinding me on the side. Anyways, good morning. Good morning. Hope you guys are doing well. Happy start of the week. I didn't really film yesterday because I didn't really have anything going on yesterday. So, if you guys didn't see last week's video, uh, we had a boo-boo on the side of the road. And that took like eight hours for us to get it fixed. So, had to deal with that. Once I got done with that, I drove up to Columbia, parked at that TA there on uh, I-20. And then the next morning, I was like, alright, we're going to get up early. We're going to knock this out as quick as we can. We're going to be late, but we're going to get there as soon as we can. <laughs> Start to do my pre-trip, and I have another breakdown issue. Uh, so the first one was actually my spring brake valve on the drives, on the passenger drives. Uh, it popped, and it broke. And then yesterday, I had a significant coolant leak so yeah that's where we're at so we finally got that fixed yesterday afternoon they had to of course they had to order the part they had to go pick it up then come back and then the guy had to take a break like all this crap so um you know it, it, it took forever so anyways so we drove quite a ways last night we got up to kinley north carolina we got up super early this morning got here at 7 a.m this place is a nightmare to get to. Uh, Virginia is a very complicated state to try and navigate through with a truck once you get off the interstates. Um, a lot of times you gotta go up and around and back just to get where you need to go instead of just going straight through. There's a lot of uh, length restrictions, there's a lot of weight restrictions, there's bridge heights, you know, there's all kinds of stuff you have to be aware of. So. Uh, it's not my favorite state to pick up and deliver in, but, you know, it is what it is. So, anyways, we are back in the door, uh, waiting for them to start and unload us, and uh, find out where we're going to go next, and I'll let you guys know. Hope you enjoy the video, guys. It's good to see you again this week, and uh, I hope you stick around. ready for the seat and is it winter yet because <laughs> it's already like 9,000 degrees and it's not even June so we got another uh, tight place to back into we've got cars everywhere Portsmouth, uh, Virginia, picking up, heading up to Illinois, I believe it is Lock, Lockport, Lockhart, one of the two. We've got two days to get there, which is nice. And then uh, I'm going to do a couple of like shorty trips around that area because I'm going home. Uh, my flight is on Monday, so I'll be going home probably Monday morning. So um, that's what we're doing. And uh, hopefully this doesn't take too long. So uh, that's where we're at. So I will bring you guys back a little bit.
washed my face, so I'm not going to show it right now because it's all red and yeah, it doesn't look very good. Um, so, so uh, I'm in here in the back. You know, I'm parked for the night and um, somebody just, somebody in a box truck just hit this guy that's one over from me. <laughs> Oh, I feel so bad for him. So as you can see, his uh, his mirror is all messed up. So the guy went down. I don't know if he's like parking to come back. I don't know. Uh, but he got a picture of the license plate. <laughs> that poor dude. <laughs> this place is a madhouse right now. I'm really hoping somebody parks next to me before I try to go to sleep, um, just to make sure that nobody's going to hit me, because I'm kind of paranoid since my uh, my little pilot adventure uh, like three or four weeks ago. I can't remember when that was. But anyways, um, so I was doing some uh, driving footage for us today. Today is Wednesday. Um, and then it started to rain, so I had to stop. So I wasn't able to do as much as I wanted to. I, we deliver in Lockport, Illinois, first thing in the morning. It's gonna be a really early uh, delivery, about 4.30 a.m. So we've gotta get up pretty early because we're still about two hours away. Um, but yeah, I, <laughs> that poor guy. <laughs> All I heard was, I, I heard the beeping of the truck backing up and then I heard crunch and I'm like, oh no. And then that guy started yelling, so... <laughs> oh, I feel ya, man. I feel ya. So, uh, anyways, we are... Um, I'm just going to... Hopefully one of these guys is about to back up in here so I can go to bed, because uh, I don't like to leave a space empty next to me. Um, so yeah, we will... Uh, I'll bring you guys back in the morning, and we will continue on this week. foggy this morning. This was a nightmare to uh, drive through. There were certain areas on 65 when I was heading up. Um, you couldn't even see, you could barely see past your the hood of your truck. Um, I almost stopped. I, I came really, really close to pulling over and not continuing because it was just when somebody would pass me it didn't take very long before you couldn't see their lights anymore, uh, their, their taillights. And everybody, you know, I don't think people take fog as seriously as they should as a weather condition. Um, it's actually super, super dangerous if you're not careful. I, you know, guys were just flying by me, um, you know, doing 65. And it's like, you can't even see. <laughs> You can't see, what are you doing, you know? Uh, anyways, before I start rambling and ranting, uh, I just wanted to show you guys, it's kind of creepy looking. It's got some like Silent Hill vibe going on right now, so. Yep. So we're just waiting. Uh, this, so this place that we're delivering to, um, <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out. Like, I understand that it's probably like mixed merchandise that are in the back. But, see, I'm just, I don't get it. It just doesn't make sense to me because all the stuff is on pallets, right? But they are literally hand unloading all of the boxes off of the pallets from inside the trailer. I don't know how long this is gonna take. I already told dispatch, I was like, guess what they're doing? <laughs> He's like, you've gotta be kidding me. I'm like, nope. 
<laughs> nope. And, and I mean, they, they've got they've got forklifts in there um, because that's how they get it from the door to the shelving. I'm just curious. Like, it is what it is. I'm just to me, it doesn't make sense flow wise. Um, but they didn't ask me, so going to hang out here. I'm editing some video right now and uh, trying to get stuff packed up. I am ready for my trip home for the week and it's it's, it's a it's very foggy this morning. So it's kind of just like kind of a mellow morning, you know. That's where we're at. So I'll bring you guys back in a little bit. Good morning everyone. Happy Friday. Um, wow. Yesterday <laughs> Yesterday was complicated, so we delivered in uh, Lockport, Illinois, and while I was waiting to be unloaded, I was told I need to do a random drug test. So that's what I had to do afterwards. So I uh, went and did that, picked up in Morris, Illinois afterwards, uh, and now we are heading up to just outside of... Um, Madison, Windsor, Windsor, Wisconsin. I remembered. That's where we're heading this morning. So, uh, yeah, our week is almost over. Um, we will probably get one more load for this week. I'm not sure where or when it delivers. Depending on that, it will depend on when I can uh, go home for home time. So. Let's get this day started, find out where we're going, and I will bring you guys back. All right, we are here. Nothing like a little blind side in the morning, huh? It's a 45, so it's not like, you know, that alley dock in here or anything like that, but and there's nobody here, so. Might as well just make it easy. issue I have is the fact that I cannot move my mirrors because the switch doesn't work. So it makes flying side a little bit more difficult than what it should be. Alright guys, we uh got delivered. Uh, that took like 20 minutes. It was great. Okay, so we pick up uh, in Hartford, Wisconsin, and we're heading down to Bartonville, Illinois. Uh, dispatch says that I could deliver on Sunday. The earliest is at 6 p.m., I believe, which is good because my flight is on Monday. So depending on how long they take, uh, I think I'm going to move up my flight. So I got to look into that when we stop. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. It's getting really dark. Uh, I think we're about to get some pretty bad weather up here, so we need to kind of scoot on over to the shipper real quick. Hopefully we don't get into <clears throat> any bad weather, and uh, I will bring you guys along for a little jaunt through Wisconsin. Oh. 